I'm gonna show you guys how to create some DIY edible school supplies that you can like sneak into your class and eat whilst you're hungry. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I was in class, I'd always get really peckish and like a break would be like an hour away so I couldn't really eat anything. But this way, you can totally sneak in food without your teachers finding out. If you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure you do. The button is just down below. Come and join the dinosaur family. And also, I'm currently holding a back to school giveaway which you guys should definitely enter. All you have to do is just be subscribed and click the little notification bell down below to stay notified of every time I post a new video. Comment down below after you have clicked the bell button and the subscribe button so I can shout out some of you guys in my next video. But that is enough rambling, let's get on into the video. Okay, so the first DIY we're gonna be creating today is these edible pencils. These look so realistic in my opinion and I'm gonna show you guys how to create these. The first ingredient you're going to use is some white melted chocolate and I'm going to add some yellow food coloring to the chocolate. The yellow food coloring is going to give it that yellow color of a pencil and you have to be quite careful with this. Don't add too much but also don't add too little because it is going to start drying up. Obviously the food coloring is a lot colder than the melted chocolate so it will speed up the process of the chocolate starting to kind of harden so you have to work quite quickly. I'm then going to take a thick straw that I actually got from a Oreo milkshake from KFC and I'm going to put my finger at the end of the straw and just start pressing the straw onto the actual chocolate. This is going to start filling up the straw with the chocolate all the way to the top and once you have done that you want to put the straw into a freezer for about half an hour and this will really harden the chocolate. Once the chocolate has settled and it's cold and hard you want to push it out of the straw with a sharp object of some sort and this will just push out the chocolate and this will be like a perfect tube of chocolate. You then want to cut off the ends to make it a little bit neater. The next thing you want to do is take a starburst and actually use your same straw to pierce a kind of like a round circle into the starburst. This is going to be the end of your pencil and it's going to act as the rubber. I'm then taking another starburst and splitting it into a half and I'm going to use this one as the actual pencil end that has like the lead in it and stuff and you want to just stick that onto the other side. Next I'm taking some black food coloring and I'm just doing a tiniest little dot on the end of the pencil and also along the rubber end to make it look a little bit more put together. These pencils are so easy to recreate and they look so realistic in my opinion. I feel like you'll definitely be able to fool some friends at school and even my cat Sky really liked them. Of course she's a cat so she can't eat chocolate but she did try and have a little bite. The next DIY is going to be an edible glue stick. I absolutely love this one. So what you're going to need for this DIY is a print stick or a glue stick of any kind. You're going to want to empty out the glue stick packaging completely and then really wash it and rinse it with some detergent to make sure that all of the glue is out and you are not consuming any of the glue because obviously that's very bad. I'm then taking some Malwan blocks. You could use Starburst or any kind of sweet for this but I decided to go with a Malwan. So I'm just going to take two out of their packaging and place them next to each other and then I'm going to take a glue stick cap and pierce a circle through the actual Malwan to have a stencil of a round kind of shape. Once you have done that you want to just pop that into the glue stick and push it all the way down. As you can see this works really well and it will actually lift it up as you twist the glue stick. I'm then going to repeat the same step twice more and this actually works really really well and this is the finished product. I absolutely love how it turned out. If you pull out this glue stick in front of some friends they're going to be so freaked out so this will be a great prank. And for this last DIY you're again going to need some chocolate which you're going to want to melt again and just spread out into four different bowls so that you can create four different colored crayons. I'm now going to take four different colors of food coloring and just add that into the bowls of chocolate and mix it up really well. I'm then going to take some straws once again like we did with the previous pencil DIY and I'm going to start pressing this into the chocolate so that it fills the straw up all the way to the top. Once you're finished your straws should look something like this which you then also want to pop into the fridge to set. Once that's happening I'm going to take a few crayons that are the same corresponding colors to the ones I've created and I'm going to start taking the wrappers off of those by cutting a small slit on the back of the crayon. I'm then taking my chocolate crayon and I'm just cutting off the end to make it a little bit more neat 
and I'm popping that into the wrapper. I'm going to do this with each of the crayons that I've created. So I'm just again taking off the wrapper of the original crayon and popping the chocolate crayon into the wrapper to make it look like the real crayon. Once all of your chocolate crayons are in the wrappers, you can start chiseling away the end of the crayon that's supposed to look like a crayon. So I'm pretty much taking a really sharp knife and I'm just sharpening the end to make it look like a real crayon. And as you can see, this is what the finished crayons look like. You can barely see the difference between the real and the edible ones. As you see, these are really easy to recreate and you'll definitely be able to fool some of your friends. So that is it for my DIY back to school edible school supplies. That is a mouthful. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it like entertaining slash interesting to watch because these DIYs, I feel like they turned out so well. I feel like they look really convincing. I don't know about you guys, but I think they look pretty good. You can totally sneak these into class and like have a little snack if you get a bit peckish. And also you could like prank your friends, making them think that you're actually eating school supplies. Let me know down below if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. P.S. guys. I've also recently launched some merch and I am so excited about this because I actually designed the logo of my merch So this is like one of the t-shirts that you can buy. I have the link down below if any of you guys are interested But oh my gosh, it's so cute I absolutely am in love with it and I hope you guys like it too But that is all from me for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did make sure you smash that huge thumbs up just down below If you've managed to recreate any of these DIYs also tag me on my Twitter or Instagram any social media that you like but that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye! Mwah.